I'm going to read some poems I wrote on the subway in the year and a half before I stopped taking the subway on March 12th, 2020. December 7th, 2018. A preschool, a tattoo parlor, a coffee shop. Those are the three storefronts I see on Smith Street right before the F train returns underground before the Carroll Street stop. Those are the last things I see. The last things I see. There's something charged about that, even though I'm only talking about storefronts. Years ago, there were different stores. Years from now, there will be different stores. But, but what? The earth endureth forever? God endureth forever? I think the earth will outlast God at the rate we're going now. February 13, 2019. The sky is so much larger than my thoughts. Why would I ever prefer my thoughts to the sky? April 23rd, 2019. A high percentage of the people on 7th Avenue are zombies at 11 a.m. on the Tuesday after Easter and Passover. Does this mean I'm a zombie? What is a zombie anyway? A zombie is a walking dead person. But I'm not walking, I'm running for a train and just make it. A young policeman and police lady talk at the front of the front car. They put an initial damper on things until I listen to their banter. Neither are apparently married. I wonder if they're flirting with each other. I wonder what their assignment is. The cop in me, the cop in my heart, wonders what the real cop's assignment is, as if it matters, as if any of it matters. There are zombies out today, but not in this subway car. Perhaps police scare away zombies, or perhaps zombies don't take the subway. They prefer to be above ground where they so rarely get to be. April 26, 2019. On the Carroll Street platform, the display shows the time down to a hundredth of a second. Why not a thousandth, a ten thousandth, a hundred thousandth, a millionth of a second? Then we would drown in the amount of time passing when the no time passes at all. May 15th, 2019. For so long, the Williamsburg Bank Tower was the tallest building in Brooklyn, and now it isn't. Two junky buildings going up next to it are already taller. How long was it the tallest building in Brooklyn? Probably 90 years from the roaring 20s to the what? The roaring teens? Everything will be revealed. July 10, 2019. Walking along 7th Avenue is like taking a little voyage a voyage through people. Today I see several retirees. I could be one of them any day now, any year now. And then what? Then what? We all know the answer to that. Along my little voyage to the 7th Avenue station, I sail past Methodist Hospital, and not so far away is Greenwood Cemetery. August 20th, 2019. She appears to have no idea I'm looking at her reflection in the window. 
It's the furthest thing from her mind. There is something frightening about that. If I were looking at her directly, even if I were looking at her back, she would probably perceive it. But she doesn't perceive it when I'm looking at her reflection. Do you want to know why? Reflections don't perceive. Only people do. If you want to look at someone without them ever perceiving you, look at their reflection in a window. August 30th, 2019. I'm glad I don't have to eat my sandwich in the subway like the guy sitting across from me. I get to eat my sandwich in front of a screen at work. I get paid for eating my sandwich. September 4th, 2019. The people on the sidewalk have nothing to do with each other, and more and more they know it. Or perhaps, and I hate to say this, the people on the sidewalk have nothing to do with me, and more and more I know it. November 4th, 2019. The sun shines in my eyes as I round the corner onto 7th Avenue at 1230. It must be November, the month my three brothers died. Does the sun shining in my eyes have anything to do with my brother's deaths? Does anything have to do with that? I have to do with that. I'm the common denominator linking the blinding sun and my brother's deaths. November 14th, 2019, for the memory of Steve Dalachinsky. Small green leaves drop on me from the pagoda tree outside my house. Small green leaves have been dropping day and night since the deep freeze two nights ago. Small green leaves drop day and night on our street, one at a time or in droves, filling the gutters. They look like small green coins, oblong coins that poured out of slot machines. We are rich in small green leaves in the gutters. We've hit the jackpot in small green leaves in the gutters beneath the pagoda's trees on 4th Street. December 12th, 2019. For many years, I lived with the day. Now, I live without the day except a few minutes here and there. I should linger on the front steps when I pick up the newspaper each morning. That would add some day to my day. And I should take greater note of my walk home at night, though it's always harder to pay attention on the return trip, much harder. There might be an immutable law of perception there is a natural relaxation of attention on the return trip, on all return trips. That has occasional tragic consequences for both animals and humans, and possibly even spirits, though that's outside my field of expertise. January 27th, 2020. I'm tempted to say these big clouds weigh on us, but all I know for sure is these clouds weigh on me. February 3rd, 2020. The woman sitting next to me today is wearing a pale blue hospital mask. She's the only person in the car to do so. I think it's fair to say she's the most concerned about coronavirus of anyone in this car. 
I wonder what's the maximum number of masks I'll see in coming months. And if I see a person wearing a mask, should I sit close to them or far away? I'm never sure what the correct answer is. February 20, 2020. If I look down a side street, I see trees and a place the Atlantic Ocean used to reach. If I look up a side street, I see trees and the edge of Prospect Park. If I look up and down side streets, I see trees. I don't look up and down side streets and see trees often enough. Does it matter if I look up and down side streets? Does it matter even to me? Well, yes, it matters to me. March 10th, 2020. The first daffodils and myrtle have opened in front of All Saints Episcopal Church. Daffodils and myrtle and coronavirus. It's here too, only invisible, still invisible.